Well, we're delighted to be here in Belfast for the annual National Codal Nashun Te Nahoiga. Um, it's an opportunity for Republicans from right throughout the 32 counties to come together and discuss the, 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 the organisation and, and put forward motions and talk on motions and, and have good discussion and debate around the, the future of the organisation and the nature of the organisation. Last night we had a great discussion and debate on the Irish language, the role of the Irish language and the future of the Irish language for young people. Today then we, we have motions on a range of issues relevant to young people and relevant to the organisation around party development, around youth development and also on economics, Uniting Ireland and a whole range of issues. We have a packed house here and there's great discussion and debate and it's, it's very positive for, for us in general and for the organisation. And a big part of what we're, we're, we're doing this weekend is, is putting forward our politics. We have a great amount of, of people here from right throughout the 32 counties. But again, it's an opportunity to, to, for, for people outside the organisation to look at what we're doing. And I would encourage them to come, come on board with what we're, we're, we're doing and, and, and the project we're involved in, in creating a better Ireland for all of our people and a united Ireland. But I suppose what I really found great about this um, Congress was that there were some really contentious motions and people really got into it and although we had to count the votes a few times people were willing to vote because they felt strongly about it, I thought that was brilliant. And then also it's great to see so many new people from different areas and to get to know um, young shinners from different areas in the country. Um, I'm really looking forward now to the afternoon sessions. There's going to be a few um, speeches and then there'll be the keynote address by Martin McGuinness which should be very good. Yes. Yeah, it's been unreal this year. A lot's changed since we last met um, in Dublin last year. Uh, this morning there, we've plenty of debates and discussions. Um, it was the first year after the historic Congress last year in Dublin um, that we had the opportunity to dig it up. Um, our comrades from all across the country was able to dig it up um, and debate and discuss on different motions. Um, some of the motions which proved to be the most controversial uh, was stuff on abortion, stuff on involvement with the UK Youth Parliament. Um, and that one in particular, we had to do the six recounts. Um, so we did, so that was brilliant. Um, that was good. Um, it eventually failed, but I think that uh, after spending so much time on it, it gave people a lot more confidence to, to, to come forward and to speak. Um, so yeah, it, it's been great, it, it's great so far. Um, there's a great atmosphere in the room, there's a great buzz in the room. Um, as you can hear behind me, we haven't stopped. And that's the first seat to be seen. Um, and I think everyone is really re motivated and re energized um, and, and just ready to go for it. There's been plenty of questions asked. Um, everyone has the confidence, there hasn't been any silence at all in the room. Um, and people have, have been queuing up all day and have bombarded the panelists with questions left, right, and centre. Um, any day that brings youth together from the party is a great day. As you can see here, there's over 100, maybe even 200 here. Uh, personally from Fermanagh we have eight, which is the first time we've ever had such a contingent, which is brilliant and it shows the growth in a small county. And that um, can be seen throughout the 32 counties, which we hope to improve on every Cogail National Day. Um, there's great debate, it's great political discussion, it's a great way of politicising our youngsters and for them to go back to their friends and their families and start politicising, having the conversations in their kitchens and having the living rooms and having the debates and trashing them out and that's how we get, um, that's how we move on the party, it's how we get more youth into the party and it's also about re-energising the party, so it's about getting them discussions, it's about having the debate on abortion, having the, the debate on the X case, which was very, very prominent today everybody had an opinion on it. Um, another prominent motion for debate today was uh, the PSNI and PCSPs. Obviously that's something that's at the heart of the six counties but um, it was interesting to see the dynamic from a 26 county perspective so more of these probably should take place and uh, I look forward to the next one. It's been a, a fantastic event so far last night. It was very successful but really this morning and early afternoon has gone beyond our expectations. The quality of discussion and debate was uh, absolutely exceptional and it's a very representative event from all over the island all sorts of ages early teens, mid teens, late teens and early twenties a great sense of camaraderie and uh, there's obviously a real good buzz in the hall What have been the important debates in your estimation? 
Well, if you look at the, the range of discussions that have taken place, very important international issues addressed, young people bringing their ideas and their initiatives forward in respect of that. We also touched on some core peace process issues. There was a very important motion addressed at the end, an emergency motion brought forward by the National Youth Committee calling for the immediate dropping of charges against Audrey Wilson and, uh, and Sean Hughes, whilst at the same time reaffirming Kogel's and Sinn Féin's commitment to a new beginning to policing. Uh, you saw discussions in relation to uh, natural resources, the economy, and uh, some very uh, exciting discussion around a whole range of educational, social and health issues. I think it's been fabulous so far. I'm really uplifted by the, the quality of debate, the range of participants, and the fact that young people were clearly up for this event today. Um, well, I'm really delighted to be here and I find the debate really interesting. I think that um, Irish people and Catalan people have a common struggle and we have to keep working to reach our objectives. Um, for us, for the Catalan Re Left Republican Youth, it's very important to be here and to keep our relations with, um, with Ireland because I think that we can help each other, we can learn from each other and it's uh, really important now uh, because we are um, facing a really important process and an historical moment in Catalonia and in Catalan countries and I think that it's important to feel the support of other nations like the Irish one and I think that we also want to support and show our solidarity with the Irish struggle. I think that the the most important thing is work, work, work and keep working. I think that we have um, um, uh, points uh, in common, but we have to understand that there are also differences. Maybe here it's a little bit more difficult now, or maybe not. We now read um, in the last elections, we get more power and the government it seems to be uh, willing to take the referendum, so we are going to do that. Uh, on the other hand, we have the Spanish government who is um, who are uh, not going to allow us to uh, make the referendum, but we are going to do it um, anyway. And I think that um, Irish uh, young people has to find it uh, the way to. Um, to get this uh, democracy mandate and to find the best way to get uh, the independence and the reunify. I thought it was a very interesting discussion. We had representatives from various political parties, north and south, and we had a representative from Catalonia here to talk about their upcoming referendum on independence. So it was a very informed debate and I really enjoyed it. It's great to see so many young people here from across 32 counties of Ireland asking questions. We're all here for the same reason, we're all Irish Republicans. And it's great for me as well, being a young MLA, to try and hear the views of young people, um, particularly um, from, from across uh, counties of Ireland. I can take that back with me into the assembly and it's very informative. Uh, it's very important that we have a chain of rire and we have a chain of rire and we have a chain of rire. To the same time, we have a chain of rire and we have a chain of rire and we have a chain of rire and we have a chain of rire. Well, I think the attendance of like-minded young Republicans from across the island to meet together to discuss and debate um, our politics. This morning we had a series of motions in which we constructively engaged with party policy um, with some interesting debates in which we all didn't agree on, which is a good sign because it enables us to be able to progress our politics and it allows us to think outside the box and look at things in a holistic fashion. Well, I just chaired a debate there with, with Declan alongside um, two current members of the Alliance Party, one being Paula Bradshaw, an um, ex-member of the UUP, and uh, Heather Morris, who's the president of the Methodist Church in Ireland. Um, I think that debate was very important and very poignant in the sense that um, it was based around the issue of reconciliation, and it's something which we need to be dealing with uh, currently. 
I think it's about developing relationships actually and the, even the invitation to be here this afternoon is signals to me a willingness and an, open to develop the, an openness to developing those relationships. Um, sometimes we don't have the, the inroads into that um, so I think actually well a lot of the, the leaders in Sinn Féin have developed those relationships so there may well be conversations there that they could facilitate. Um, I offered this afternoon that if folk were serious about wanting those conversations I'll help set those up uh, because I do think that um, those relationships, that learning to, to really talk and listen and engage must be part of building a, a peaceful future. Um, well, to flu more on the new August Tadini, um, oh, and Ahanach, Ahan Hyanter, Kazan Conti in Iron, and Shaw and you, August Shilam Gwil, or Gurud Maya. It's on my G Sprat on the new August Lower Mudge Fui, Ruddy Marhampla, Ian Tuna Heron, Agnamiak, Timpilla, Dogus, Ruddy Tad, Akun, Dini Yoga, August Dini Pubitat, Gujanerta. I'm from Mid Ulster, and it's great to see so many young people here today who've been out in Mid Ulster with us canvassing for the upcoming Mid Ulster by election. And it's great just to see so many people getting involved with Republican politics and believe that this generation will deliver a united Ireland. Martin, a very dynamic, vibrant youth conference. What was your message to the young Republicans gathered here today? Well, first of all, to congratulate them on what has been a very successful Congress with a huge turnout of young Republicans from all over the island of Ireland. Uh, the message was very, very clear. It was to commend them for having a Congress that didn't just have them come and speaking to themselves. They opened this Congress up to unionist voices, and I think that is something that will be hugely beneficial to young people as they reflect on the lessons learned from this and the need to move forward in a very inclusive way in the future. So I'm tremendously inspired and encouraged by what I've heard here today. Well, my, my message to young people is that they should take an interest in politics, that they should recognise that politicians make huge decisions on their behalf. And it's quite clear that there are young people right across society who are interested in politics. But it's also quite clear that many other young people feel that politics doesn't really have anything to offer for them. Politicians and politics decide the future of nations, decide the future governmental policy on this island, north and south. I, I think it's of critical importance that young people uh, recognise that their voices need to be heard and need to be heard within the political uh, system. I'm very pleased that we are part of Sinn Féin, an organisation that is very open to the emergence of young people within our party as leaders of the future. It's been absolutely great, a uh, great weekend. Uh, we've had so many different debates and discussions um, with, on a, all different topics. Uh, we've had unionist people here um, discussing the national question. Um, we've also been debating and discussing on, on, on motions. Uh, so it has been, it's really, been really, really great. Um, we were challenged and now Martin McGuinness has, has challenged us for the year ahead. We're looking forward to next year, but uh, hopefully we can come back next year um, further, further on. You know, um, further in our struggle um, because, as you know, you know, it's this generation that can deliver our unity.